Hey Shiner, where's the vlog? Did you stop vlogging? How come you haven't had a new vlog episode in a while? Calm down. The vlog is back. I know you wanna go. Choose us all. Let's run away now. When the night comes, I find my way back home. It has been a hot minute since I posted a vlog. Time gets away from you. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know I spent a few weeks in Palm Springs. We loaded up, went back to Oklahoma for a break, and now, along with Jethro, we've come back to Palm Springs, and we're gonna be here for eight weeks. The kicker to this is it's August. It's summer. It's hot in Palm Springs. A couple days ago, it hit 120 or 123 degrees outside. It's just too hot to do anything. You don't even want to get in the pool. And if you don't want to get in the pool, well, that's a heat you just don't need to be experiencing. Anyway, with this vlog episode coming back, show you guys how we try to beat the heat and just hit a couple spots that maybe, if you ever travel through here, you wouldn't necessarily think about going. I mean, there's some iconic spots, especially like iconic, quote unquote, Instagrammable spots in Palm Springs. And I'm sure while we're here, I'll hit a few of those and take some photos. After this, I think we're gonna take a night. We're gonna go over to Joshua Tree, do some stargazing. I'll be documenting that. You never know what other kind of shenanigans we're gonna get into. The real bummer about this is that I just read yesterday that Palm Springs they're basically instituting a mask mandate. Not basically, they are. To the point that they have a weekly street fair here every Thursday night downtown, you're gonna be required starting next Thursday to wear a mask if you attend. I think we all know how I feel about the mask thing. So that's gonna drastically cut down on some of the filming opportunities that I have. But I got other things in the works. I got a short film that I'm starting I got high hopes for that, but we'll save that for another time. You guys come along, let's go hit Palm Springs, let's check out a few things. You never know, it might just tickle your fancy and you might end up making a trip to come out to the desert one day. <sighs> it's like the devil's taint. So yeah, I've got a lot of messages about the vlog. Where'd it go? Did I stop? Is it coming back? No, I didn't stop. Yeah, it's coming back. Still is. I just got real busy with life. And on top of that, I went through this crazy, like, creative block. I just couldn't create anything. It was like I was stumped. <sighs> Thankfully, man, I got supportive people around me. They kind of helped me through it. And eventually, I came out on the other side. In the meantime, we were here in Palm Springs, went home to Oklahoma, and now we're back. So we're gonna see what exactly we can get into in Palm Springs. Maybe not hit so many touristy things, but definitely give you like an overview of what the vibe here is like. Right now I'm downtown, just kind of bebopping around. Also, as the vlog unfolds this time, I'll let you know what the plans are. The Shiner Chronicles are gonna continue and I've got big plans for them. We might even be getting ready to launch a travel vlog. I mentioned earlier that I would touch on what's gonna happen with the Shiner Chronicles and the channel as a whole. So yeah, it got to lacking a little bit. Actually, it got to lacking a lot. We stopped the Culinary Chaos post. We stopped the Shiner Chronicles post. Just everything kind of fizzled out because COVID had us pinned down. Then it opened back up and now, like I said, I'm out on the West Coast. It's starting to shut down again but I'm gonna take a little bit different of an approach to it this time. Like, I'm not gonna let it pin me down. I'm gonna keep getting out there, doing what I do, keep finding ways to vlog, keep finding things to feature, gonna bring back culinary chaos, and I already mentioned it once with the nurse and her work schedule and the way it takes her around to different places, we're gonna launch a travel vlog. So that'll be coming at you. There's a whole lot of things happening in my life, in my life with the nurse, in 
the outcast realm, there's just a lot of stuff shaking out right now. And it's a lot of stuff that can be documented. As depressing as it is that it looks like they're gonna shut things back down, I'm gonna try to keep a positive attitude about it and just keep plugging away. Even though the OMG channel completely got quiet for a while, you guys give us another chance hang with us and just trust me and i say content is coming content is coming i don't know what that hand motion did apparently that's the universal sign for makes it more believable i guess although i am telling you the truth because i am going to get way more serious about making videos doing things that uh further my craft you know what i mean like, uh, what's that dude's name? Uh, who, what's that guy's name? Oh yeah, Peter McKinnon. Like he says, make vids. Just make vids. Okay, so I told you in the beginning of this that there was some very Instagrammable spots around Palm Springs. This is one of them. This is the windmill. I wanna say I read there's 4,000 windmills along the mountainside around Palm Springs, California. I'm gonna have to look into that. I'll put a graphic in here. It's either 400 or 4,000, I can't remember. But this is a really hot Instagram spot. You see a lot of people that come through this area come here for photo shoots. I've got two shoots planned out here. One you'll see in my feed, one you will never see, but they will be some dope pictures. So my suggestion to you is, if you're ever around Palm Springs and you're into photography in any way, shape, or form, make sure to hit the windmills. It's worth the trip out here. It's just outside of town, five minutes maybe. Sits right off of the old Amtrak stop here in Palm Springs. I don't even know, I don't think that's a, I don't know, that's one for the experts. I don't even think that's a operational Amtrak stop anymore. Maybe it is, I don't know, don't quote me on that. There's a very, I don't know why, but there's a very apocalyptic feel to this out here. I've been intrigued with this from the moment I laid eyes on it on our last trip to Palm Springs. So I'm gonna make the best of it now. It's definitely something worth seeing. And like I said, with the vibe, the apocalyptic vibe, I don't know why I feel like it has an apocalyptic vibe, but I think it does. And for some reason, none of these things are moving today. That's weird. That's the first vlog installment from our time here in Palm Springs. I will say it's getting a little bit cooler. Like it only got to 100 today. I need fall to get here. That's what I really need. I know this vlog was like all over the place, but I was literally just kind of running and gunning, coming up with things on the fly because every time I came up with a plan, they'd institute some kind of new COVID restriction and it would wipe out what I planned to do. It's just a good lesson to learn and take with you down the road. Like you have to be fluid in life. I think I already mentioned that earlier in the vlog, but you have to. Being fluid a lot of times pushes people outside of their comfort zone. 
But keep in mind, that's when you start to grow. Every time you get outside that little box of comfort, well, you're growing as a person. That's why it feels uncomfortable. You guys, I don't have much more for you this time. Go ahead, hit that like button, kick it in the teeth if you want to. If you wanna keep up to date with everything that's posted to the channel, make sure you ring that notification bell. You guys do us a favor and share it to your social media accounts. Let's spread the word. Let's get more people in on what can get kind of chaotic at times and let them experience all that Outcast Media Group is. You already know how I'm gonna end it. You guys get out there, kick the day in the ass, and leave your mark on the world. Shiner. Out. Ring that little notification bell if you don't mind bell that way anytime we post any content to this channel you'll get the note